For this thrift to treasure project, I'm going to take this little shelf that I found at Goodwill a few weeks ago for $3.99 and upcycle it, making it look kind of antique, so that I can display a collection of personal creamers that was sent to me. The first thing I did was to spray it down with this orange cleaner and wipe it well with paper towels. This is definitely an important step of any upcycling project. This Thrift to Treasure video is part of the Flippin' Friday collaboration hosted by Jamie at Board or Bananas and Board or Bananas DIY. She has awesome channels with lots of great thrifting and lots of great ideas on how to use thrifted finds and how to flip them. This is an open challenge that she sponsors every month, so check out her information in my description box below. This shelf had a design painted on it and it was important to get that flattened out because it would definitely show through any paint that I put on it. So I started off with 220 grit sandpaper. That did a decent job, but I actually wound up moving to 150 grit, which is rougher, and that did a much better job. I probably should have just started with the rougher grit. So I just sanded it down. It took a while to just get it to a point where you couldn't feel the design anymore. I think for Christmas, I want to ask for a little electric sander for these types of projects. Once the sanding was done, it was important to clean up the dust because I didn't want that to get into my paint job. So I used my little dust buster and then once I had vacuumed up most of the dust, I came back with a little rag and wiped it down. It was just a little bit of a damp rag. I wanted to paint this a lovely antique green color, but I wanted to also distress it so that darker colors of green would show through or different colors of green. So I actually chose three different colors of green from my stash. Again, these are not the top coat. These are just for the layers that will show through once I distress the piece. So there's a deep green and then a bluish green and then a yellowish green. And so I didn't really blend them. I just kind of put them all on the brush and uh, you know just brushed them on and let it have different shades of green. And this is not chalk paint, this is just acrylic paint. So this is what it looked like after the first coat. You can see the different shades. And then this is after the three coats had dried. So I did, well, it was like two and a half coats. And I was just feeling here to make sure all those designs were gone and they were, nothing was showing through, that was good. Then I came in with this spearmint color. And this is a great shade if you're looking for an antique green. It looks a little more mint right here. And I mean, it is called spearmint, but you'll see it dries slightly different. It dries to a lovely antique green color. So I did two coats of that, you can see here. Then I took a wet rag and I used a method called wet distressing. So basically you use a dampened rag to wipe off some of the paint. I like the wet distressing method because it takes off paint without scratching the, the other paint, the top coat. And there's no right way to do this. I just kept wiping off paint until I liked the way that it looked and until enough of the under layers were showing through. So you can see here some of the lighter greens and the darker green are showing through. Some of the original cream is showing through. I really love how it turned out. I was really pleased with the wet distressing method. Then I got my Rust-Oleum Aged Glaze. If you've watched my flips before, I use this all the time. <laughs> and I have this really chunky brush and some water and my rag again. And for this part of the project, I had to work in sections. You don't want the aged glaze to dry. So I would brush it onto a section and then I used my damp rag to wipe it off and to just wipe it on and wipe it off until you like the way that it looks. The thing about this, you're basically wiping dirt age into your project. So you want it to look like where, if you think of an antique piece, where does the dirt or the, you know, the, the grime collect over time? Where does it get the, those nice darker tones, you know, and it's in the crevices and um, on the corners, you know, so that's basically how you go about it. You just want to wipe the antique glaze to where it would naturally collect. And this is what it looked like when it was 
all glazed. I love it. Just love the antique glaze. It is a really great product. My idea for this piece was that I really wanted it to look like something that's been around for a while and maybe that had been painted several times. Maybe it had hung in someone's garage for a long time and then somewhere else in their house. And I think I achieved that. And when I was all done, I sealed it up with this Craft Smart satin varnish. Okay, sorry for the outside noise, but we just put, Chris helped me put these on so that I could hang it. And then we're gonna put it on the wall with, we're gonna use anchors and screws so it'll hold some weight because it's gonna hold weight. And then came the fun part of actually hanging it on the wall and displaying my collection of little personal creamers that was sent to me. I am terrible at hanging things. Chris is much better at that skill. So I let him do this job. I just helped him out and he got it nice and level for me. He's so cute. He cracks me up. He got it nice and level, did a good job. And he did get it into, he put anchors in so that it would hold weight. And then these are the creamers. So these are restaurant wear, if you're not familiar, or personal creamers. Some of them might be syrup pitchers. I don't know. But someone sent me their collection, and I absolutely adore them. I have my own collection, but my shelf doesn't hold larger sized ones very well, and my shelf is getting a little full. And I thought, well, since these were sent to me as a collection, I wanted a special place to display them. So that's why I wanted to use the shelf. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. I'm coming off of, I'm gonna do most of this voiceover because my neighbor's getting a roof and it's super loud out the window, but I love it so much. This was such a good solution, $3.99 from Goodwill, and it holds such a special collection. Oh, I just love it. And I have to say, I really like my paint job. I know it's not everyone's thing, but I love the antique green with the different layers showing through. I just think it's really cool. Really cool. Anyway, I hope you like it too. I know some of you will like it. Some of you will hate it, but that's okay. I hope some of you like it. <laughs> And that's all that I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me here on my Nicole North Garden All Things Thrift channel. If you like this kind of content, these thrift to treasure videos, as well as thrift hauls and thrifting and thrift decor, please hit that subscribe button. It would really help me out. I would love to have you here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I took this $3.99 piece and turned it into a treasure for my home decor. And until my next video, please take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.